up welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Jamie I am a postgraduate from Binghamton University I make college videos well videos about college um weeks in my life postgrad videos and I'm trying to become more into health and fitness I work out on Orange Theory four to five times a week and I'm currently doing WW Green. Like I said in my last What I Eat in a Week video, if food is something that is triggering for you, please turn this video off. I do not want to trigger anyone. It is meant to share fun things that I'm eating and whatever and help other people. But if it is not something that is going to help you, please do not watch this video. I'm doing WW Green right now because I started it during the Orange Theory Transformation Challenge to kind of just teach me to eat more intuitively and not to eat as much white pasta as I normally do so I've been eating a lot of more whole wheat pasta you know just making sure I'm making healthy choices in my life so today I'm starting on what I eat in a week because the past two weeks I've really been off track and I've just been eating so much junk that I do not need to eat so getting back on track this week in this video is going to help hold me accountable starting my morning in the car because I just went to the McDonald's drive through which I know I'm like wow I really want to eat healthier and then I'm like I'm at McDonald's but if we're being honest all I got was a Diet Coke in large of course because that is zero points and any size at McDonald's the Diet Coke is just a dollar oh nine maybe a dollar oh eight depending on where you are it's a dollar and then sales tax so on Long Island it's a dollar oh nine and upstate it's a dollar oh eight and then the other thing I got was just a hash brown um this will be my breakfast and this is five points on ww green which honestly is not that bad for a breakfast i normally a bagel is nine points so this is really not that bad um it tastes delicious so so i'm on break and i am waiting for my food at panera bread panera bread is really really good for ww even green like everything is just like low points which is fun and i like it and it's easy to track because everything is on the weight watchers app so so I got soup and Caesar salad with no croutons and no cheese, so it's less points than it actually says, and then some bread. Currently heating up the penne arabas, arabita from Trader Joe's. Super yummy and super easy to make. So this is that one serving and it's super yummy. I'm so excited to eat it. Today's a good day because I have nine extra points so I can have three Oreos. So for breakfast, I'm eating the Trader Joe's bread with a tablespoon of peanut butter delicious big fan so this is what i'm having for lunch it's that leftover penne arabita for last night i still have another serving after this i'll a piece of grilled chicken with just some garlic salt and cut that up and put it inside so that will be yummy and i believe it's gonna be eight points because chicken is two i think so yummy so according to weight watchers i can have Two of these for only one point, so I'm on it. So this is what I'm having for dinner. It's this General Chow's chicken with white rice from Trader, no, it's from ShopRite. So this is what it looks like when it's done. And it is 11 points on WW, but delicious if you have the points for it. So now I'm just making a soft pretzel. Um, I'll look at the brand one sack, but you just toast that or bake it. Yes, yeah, bake. At like 3.50 for like five minutes. So this is the super pretzel and it's, I'm having one pretzel so it's four points. All right guys, so for breakfast, I'm making this tortilla wrap thing with potatoes that I saw from this girl on YouTube. I'll link her video down below because I'll probably mess this up but I'll show you guys what I'm doing anyway. So I'm gonna start by spraying some olive oil on my pan. I don't log this because it's mostly going to stay in the pan anyway. So I'm just stirring up half a cup of those and I'm going to cook them. Going to add the eggs in. So I'm using these whole wheat tortillas from Trader Joe's and I am going to heat it up in the microwave because I don't have a tortilla warmer. Who owns one of those? Like, do that. So here is Wednesday's lunch. It's just the penny arabita again from Trader Joe's. And this is the last serving of it. So I'm gonna eat this up for six points. Oh my goodness, you guys. I just got a garlic knot from Uncle Giuseppe's. I'm with Lauren. 
and it's so good. The WW app said the garlic counts for four points, and I have a hard time believing that it's only four points, but like I'll take it. This is my apple, brought to you by the lovely Lauren. <laughs> All right, guys, this is my dinner. It's the chicken chow mein from Trader Joe's, and it's a third of the package, which is what the serving size apparently is. Y'all, I'm a disappointment, and I forgot to film before I ate, but these are two Eggo waffles with ShopRite sugar-free syrup, and honestly, it, like, slaps. Like, I was worried about the syrup not tasting good, but it's made with Splenda, so it's still, like, sweet and yummy. All right, you guys, so before I show you my lunch, hair new let's talk about it but whatever um so for lunch let me tell you if, if you are doing ww and re you really like pasta you have to get the al dente pasta co carbonara noodles this is one and a half cups of them it's only four points and then i have like an ounce of sauce on them i'm also eating that with a garlic knot but yummy y'all for my dinner i am trying to make spaghetti squash mainly because there's no one home in my house right now so no one will watch me fail except for you guys on the internet but I really only had spaghetti squash once in my life at a sorority convention two years ago and it was really bad because it wasn't seasoned. So I just watched this video by Brittany Mullins called The Best Way to Cook Spaghetti Squash. And now I'm sitting here with these like little rings of spaghetti squash that I'm about to roast in the oven. And then I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on how it goes. I'll probably make a piece of chicken to go along with it, so. All right, so here's my dinner. This is the spaghetti squash. So like I said, it's been seasoned with olive oil and garlic salt and pepper and then this has just garlic salt on it it's just a piece of grilled chicken and it's so good honestly as a society i feel like we sleep on spaghetti squash because this is good so these cookies from uncle giuseppe's are seven points but they're so good and i have the points because i had a really really low point dinner so i'm excited i forgot that i was filming this so i didn't show you guys my breakfast but it's a piece of bread with peanut butter. Alrighty, you guys. So, my friend just dropped off at my house these pizza hamantashen. So, if you don't know, there's a Jewish holiday called Purim. And we eat these, like, triangle-shaped cookies. So, he made these, like, as pizzas. So, they're actually made with pizza dough and they're really good. I'm going to log it as, like, one and a half slices of pizza. I feel like that's probably close to what it is. I don't know how many points that's going to be, but I'm going to log it as that. Okay. So, I kind of just, like, forgot to vlog the rest of the things I ate. But I did go and I went to Core Life. And it was actually buy one get one free, which was really exciting. So I got two bowls. I got literally the same exact bowl. And I got my normal bowl, which is chicken broth, rice noodles, chicken, carrots, corn, and scallions. And I normally get tortilla strips, but the tortilla strips were honestly just four points. So I did not have the points for it yesterday to eat. My core life bowl in total was seven points, which was a okay with me and a good lunch or dinner, whatever it may be. And then when I got home, I didn't really snack or anything, but I had more of the hamantashens my friend baked me. Um, and they, oh my god, he made such good ones. They were literally chocolate hamantashens with cookies. Like, it was, like, with a cookie and an Oreo inside. Like, oh my god, it was heavenly. And I was so happy that he made me that. But I also didn't log it because I just knew, like, I had enough points that, like, it would go into my weeklies. But I knew I wasn't going to use all my weeklies anyway. So I did not log that. So that's all the kind of food I ate Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me make some food, eat some food. I hope you guys maybe got some recipe inspiration. Maybe you guys are able to find better foods for WW Green now. Or just to live a healthier lifestyle. If you liked this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>